and welcome back to Naturally Vintage. I'm so glad you decided to stop by again. Well today I'm going to talk about my decision for going natural uh, and the beginning of my natural hair journey. So uh, my daughter first went natural. Uh, she was natural for a whole year and she kept talking to me about it and why she did it of course because of all the chemicals and those kind of things and we're starting to eat healthy and so we're, we decided that was a natural route to, to continue to go on. So, but I, uh, at that point in time, I wasn't ready uh, because I was still homeschooling my son and I was trying to get him into college and get everything ready. But his last year at high school, I decided to go ahead and um, take it on. So I transitioned for the first, first six months. And um, after that, I did the big chop and I cut off all the, the dead ends and the, mainly because I could not transition well. I did not know how to help my natural hair and to, to, to buy products for the texturized hair. And I didn't wear a relaxer, um, I, I wore a texturizer. It was called Wave Nouveau and it was just like a wavy perm sort of. Um, but my hair did not, it was not natural. It, it just looked wavy, straightened and then wavy. And it was still scraggly on the ends so it didn't look pretty at all. So after I did the big chop, um, I started loving my hair. I wore a puff for a whole year, uh, but I did discuss um, going natural with my husband first before I, I just jumped on the bandwagon. Um, and I'll never forget what he said. He said, you know, well, I've been natural all my life. And I like, well, yeah, that's true. You have been. So I felt like, oh, okay, I have his support. And then, um, which was the best part about it, of all of it, was my sister. She decided to go natural. She's my identical twin sister, which made me, made me feel like, okay, this is a really good thing that my daughter started. <laughs> and then my niece went natural, and now my mother, my mother has gone natural. She, uh, I think she started back in December of, of 26, 2016. So she's excited about going natural. Hair, her hair had thinned um, very badly, and she had a bald spot. So. There's hair growing in the bald spot, so she's just ecstatically happy. Um, and she is 84 years old, so she's from the old school where you did not ever wear your hair in its natural state. Uh, you always had a relaxer, and you did not go swimming. So um, I, I feel honored that she decided to go natural, and so all of us women are now natural in our family. So we're all ecstatically happy about that. Um, I do have a question to ask you, but first I'm going to show you my hair. Uh, it's in a bun. It's not in a slick bun. That's what I want to talk to you about. As you can see, some of the hair is standing up there, which really makes me upset because um, I did have a gel that I was using and it worked perfectly. Uh, now, because it's so humid, it's, not, it's no longer working and my hair is sort of popping up. Uh, which really makes me unhappy. So my question is, if you ladies know of a gel that I can use, and I cannot use, this is, this is um, really important, I cannot use anything with coconut. Uh, my hair doesn't like coconut, and I'll tell you how, I just found that out three weeks ago. I'm going to do a video about that, so you'll be able to see that. Uh, and I am allergic, or no, I'm not allergic, I am um now, I don't tolerate wheat, so I cannot eat wheat, and my hair doesn't like wheat. So anything with wheat protein or gluten or anything like that, so uh, I have to be careful. Also soy, so a little bit of soy. I can tolerate soy. So if you can, f if you ladies know of a a gel that has every you know organic products in it and no wheat and no coconut, I will gladly try it. So let me know um, some suggestions that you have in the comment section. You may also email me at naturallyvintage1 at gmail.com. So um, why don't you let me know some of your hair stories and how the reasons you went natural. Uh, not, the, not because it's a fat or anything, but because of health reasons or because of hair thinning or things like that. I'd like to know some of the other reasons why women go natural. So feel free to send me an email or comment in the, in, in the section below. So please subscribe and like this video. Uh, and I will be talking to you very soon. 
Uh, my next video will probably be on uh, the coconut issue I was telling you about. Like I said, I just found that out. So I look forward to seeing you. And I look forward to telling you about that. And maybe I can help some of you guys when you figure out. Because I would have never figured out this that I um, had. My hair didn't like coconut. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.